Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the course of the last year, I've been talking about Gemini Live, also known as Glick, G-L-R-C, which could be coming to Google Chrome for desktop. And I posted a video, I think last week, asking the question, did Google just confirm Gemini Live Glick is coming to Chrome? And for what it's worth, I'll link that video. Now, just to let you know that after a year of speculation and guessing and rumors, yesterday at Google's RO 2025, Google has confirmed now that Gemini AR is coming to Google Chrome on desktop, which means you'll have access to Gemini anywhere you are on the web at any time. Now, although this is the case, and I have been talking about Gemini on the channel, in Chrome Canary, although I have all the flags enabled, I'm not seeing any traces of the feature. Um, there are a good couple of videos I did post. Just do a search for Glick, G-L-R-C, on the channel if you want more information regarding Gemini. And there could be a good reason why I'm not seeing it, because it seems that this is going to be a paid subscription. Now, according to Google, Gemini in Chrome will allow you to clarify information or summarize long articles on any web page you're currently reading, or without the need to open a new tab or switch context. Now, you'll be able to interact with Gemini in Chrome, but first of all, as we have spoken about previously on the channel, if we have a look at a bit of a video clip from that announcement, by tapping on the and clicking on the Gemini button in the top right of the tab strip, which brings out that little widget or fly out window. And you can also interact with Gemini by typing your requests or by using Gemini Live to talk to the AI directly using natural language. So very similar as I've been talking about previously, this will be very similar to live you get on your Android phone in the Gemini app. So according to Google, you'll be able to ask it for help with various tasks like summarizing a web page, explaining a topic, giving you relevant answers, modifying a recipe to suit your needs and so on. That's just a couple of examples they've given from this announcement. But it can do a lot more. And Gemini in Chrome can be used to manage your tabs. And it can even pull up information from the tabs and present it to you regarding what's taking place in each individual tab. And Gemini can complete tasks on the web page you are on, as mentioned. Now, Gemini AI in Chrome is going to be connected to Google services. So as an example, you can ask it to add a task to your calendar and it will create it for you. And it's going to be rolling out to Windows and Mac OS users and can be enabled or invoked on Windows by using Alt and G and Control and G on Mac. And there's no word yet regarding Linux, so we'll have to just watch that space. Now, as mentioned, and as you have seen by the video title, Gemini in Chrome will not be rolling out to everyone initially. It's going to be rolling out to Google AI Pro and Ultra subscribers in the United States initially who have their Chrome language set to English. So it's not going to be rolling out globally to everyone. And at this stage, not known if your average home user is going to get this in Chrome on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, obviously, there are privacy concerns because it can have access to your different tabs which may raise a privacy flag with a lot of users but according to the announcement at IO 2025 Google says that and I'm quoting Gemini in Chrome activates only when you choose to use it via clicking on the Gemini icon as mentioned or the keyboard shortcut you set up Alt and G as mentioned on Windows and Control and G on Mac. So I must be honest, I did think that this would roll out to everyone, but not to be. And obviously I'll keep a close eye um, on Gemini in Chrome 
And if I get any information or any more news, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.